Hi friends, it's Virginia here for NoelleMignon.com with this month's kit, the Christmas kit, um, and it is awesome. I'm super duper excited about it. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I have lots of plans for Christmas crafting this month. I love Christmas time for making gifts. I love Christmas time for doing December daily, although I've never completed one, but who knows, maybe this will be the year. We'll just keep trying, right? I love to make the album. It's just the, you know, finishing it part and putting pictures in that I always leave by the wayside. <sighs> One year. Anyways, so I love Christmas crafts. And even if you're not a scrapbooker, this month's kit is the one to get if you like to do crafts because there's lots of stuff in here that you could use for all sorts of crafting projects. I mean, hello, we all get on Pinterest and see all these fun ideas to do. This is a kit that can help you complete a lot of those fun ideas. So let me get out the embellishment bag to begin with. This is the embellishment bag. You can see it's stuffed full of stuff. And then this is the rest of the kit bag, which is very thick in and of itself. So let me get started. I'm gonna show you guys the embellishment bag first. All right, so to begin with, we've got some Festive Berries Distress Paint. Super pretty. I am loving the Distress Paint daubers because um, I love polka dots, and these make just the perfect little polka dots on things. So this will definitely be put to use as polka dots. And it also, you can take this around the edge of like a photograph, and it just swipes. You can do it on all sorts of things. These are really cool. Anyways, so if you haven't got to play with one of those yet, you'll get to play with one in this month's kit. We have a couple of spools of ribbon here. We've got this one, and I don't know if everybody gets the same ribbon in their kits. So I'll have to look, and y'all might get a little bit different ones, but you get two spools of ribbon. This is from Studio Calico, and that one is like a Grogain ribbon. I think that's the way to say it. I hear different people say it different ways. And then this one is like a satin ribbon, and it's a pretty green. You also get some washi tape, or decorative tape, which you all know, you know, I love polka dots and blues and greens, so that's perfect. You get a couple of stamps, and the stamp background actually matches that tape kind of a little bit. But anyways, you get these fun little stamps, so cute for doing little tags and Christmas cards. These, I'm so excited about. These are like faceted gems. You can see they're like, like a big rhinestone, but with something underneath. I love this, and they're self-adhesive. We've got a piece of wood veneer, and it's actually got where it's like looks like it's written on, but I'm turning it around so you guys can actually read what it says because it reverses it in the video. And we've got some other little wood pieces. These just kind of fell out as I dumped out my kit. We've got some other little tiny things here. I just love all these odds and ends for embellishing things. We've got a really pretty sparkly snowflake. And um, this I actually have plans for to add on to a home decor project. But it's really sparkly and glittery and pretty. Um, we've got some, I think there's another one in here maybe, little envelopes. So cute. I love little envelopes for tucking things into. Some basic gray little um, pull apart um, like postage stamps. Those cute. These Christmas bingo cards, which I love. Love, love, love from my mind's eye. And I think Noelle's all out of those actually in the shop. Otherwise, I would have picked up some more. This is really pretty and thick. I don't know if you can see. But it's got um, embossed like dots around it, which would be really pretty to use with that distress paint, that little scallop frame. We've got some cut apart tags here. Some really cool chipboard buttons and odds and ends, which I always love those. And we've got some vellum pieces. Ooh, I love that. And a little candy cane and a Christmas tree and some other little guys here enamel dots and we've got a couple of little cute little paper clips which I love those and then just some other little guys that are just you know little things to tuck in 
So love, love, love. Lots of fun stuff there. Lots of fun embellishments, which I love. I love how Noelle picks out embellishments because I kind of get overwhelmed with embellishment selection. So she makes it easy, and I appreciate that. Okay, so we've got some big embellishments in here, too. We've got these awesome banners, which are already stitched, and you just pull them out. They're perforated, and you pull them out of here, and they're ready to go. So if you like the stitched look but don't want to have to stitch anything, there you go. And awesome, they're double-sided, so you can pick which side you like. We've got chalkboard style mini stickers. Yes, love. Some just classic red thickers, and this is one of my favorite fonts from them. I love these scripted fonts. We've got word stickers from October Afternoon, who, as many of you do, I love as well. And I wish you could see these in reverse because my camera's flipping them backwards, but they're so cute. All right, so let's get through to the paper selection. All right, we've got more October Afternoon. Look at this awesome chalkboard print. And then the other side are these cute little Christmas trees. But did you see the chalkboard print and stuff? Yeah, we don't care about the other side, y'all. We just like the chalkboard print. All right, this is from Allison Craft for um, Webster's Pages. Super cute. More from her. Ooh, that's so fun. I love pages with lots of words on it. I know y'all can't read it, but it's like, peace, love, and kisses, joy, be joyful, don't peek until December 24th, all that kind of stuff. And then this fun. Yeah, that's really cute. And then you've got your green and red chevron. And I love the stars on the other side. I have a thing for stars. Okay, this is more from October Afternoon. I like the kind of 50s mod vibe there. This makes a great background for a page. Oh, this is so pretty. This reminds me of something at my grandmother's house at Christmas time. Our little Christmas village she has. Of course, we have cardstock in every month's kit that coordinates lovely with the colors and the papers in there. I love that gray. That's really pretty. This is from Glitz, who I love, love, love their stuff. Look at the cute Christmas trees. Oh my gosh, y'all, look. <gasps> Gold stars. And craft. My mind's eye. They always, always have just gorgeous Christmas lines. I love them. Just the right mix of trendy and classic to me. This is really pretty. I love symmetry. Like this would make a great symmetrical page. Ooh, classic stripe. Some more of those little trees that were on the other page. This is Echo Park and this side is like a chalkboard style page. And then this has like a little collage of stuff on it. Ah, can't pick it up. This is also from Echo Park. And we have a pretty gray design on the other side. I'm loving the gray with all the brights. I think that's really pretty and classy for Christmas time. All right, let's see. This is basic gray. Ooh, I love this other side. Look at that. Yeah, so pretty. And this coordinates with those colors. And then look at the cute little holly berries. And then this is from Crate Paper. Love that. All the tags. I mean, if nothing else, you could just cut those tags apart and use those as gift tags. But, come on, we're not going to use them for just that, are we? No, we're not. Look at all the cute polka dots. You know I love the polka dots and snowflakes. All right. So, that. Sorry for wiggling the camera. That is the Christmas kit. Get your hands on it. There's only a few left from what I heard last night with Noelle. There was like 10 left then. So, I don't know how many are left this morning. But, go check. Get one. You won't regret it. Y'all have a great holiday weekend.